This is a short video to go over the time of Bulta. Now you've seen this before uh, on a few words and you can actually see it here on the word Marbulta. Um, it's actually this letter right here and it looks like uh, just a normal ha with two dots above it or the ending ha with two dots above it. And this only occurs at the end of words. So this is an indicator of feminine words. It's normally pronounced as an H sound. So it's normally just a normal H huh sound. Unless it has a um, harakat on it. So in that case, it would be pronounced as a T. So it's either a H huh or a ta. Um, so, if you were to look at this word marbulta, you put the ta marbulta at the end, and you put a lamma here. Normally, if you don't pronounce this, if you just stop at the end of the word and you don't con uh, like continue saying the next word, you won't pronounce this uh, this mark above here. So it'll just be ta marbulta. But if you're saying another word after it, um, and you want to keep going, just connect it so it has the flow, it's going to be ta marbulta tu. Ta marbulta tu. And so that would also be the same with uh, the fatha, ta marbulta ta, and ta marbulta ti, with the kasra. So this, is, this only occurs at the end of words, so you don't have to worry about it a lot, but it does come up all the time with uh, feminine words and it's generally a the indicator of a word being feminine not all feminine words have this though so just keep an eye out for it and remember that it's either pronounced as a h uh, just a normal h sound or a ta just a t sound